Today we're gonna to be looking at what is in an Olympic weightlifter's gym bag. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are staying healthy. We are in my garage home base training center for the time being. I just thought I'd make this video to, you know, stay creative, keep the content rolling. For all of you that don't know who I am, my name is Nate. I run this YouTube channel here. It's kind of about my athletic journey in weightlifting. My biggest competition was coming up in March, which was Junior Worlds. That was supposed to be held in Bucharest, Romania. However, that got canceled or postponed for reasons you all probably know. The date for that is to be determined. Hopefully it still happens. It'll be the biggest competition of my life. I was really looking forward to it. Yeah, so if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit that sub button to be able to follow my journey and um, give the video a thumbs up. So today we're gonna be looking at what is in me. Fuck, what the fuck did that mean? Today we're gonna be looking at what is in an Olympic weightlifter's gym bag. All right, first off, we got the shoes. These are the Nike Romaleo 3XDs. I like them, they're pretty comfy, they do their job. Um, the only thing is they kind of fall apart easy. I found this to also happen with the Romaleo 3s also. I went through a pair in like a year, but other than that, I do like them, they're comfy, they do their job. I like the look, it's really clean. My dream pair though of shoes is the 2008 Addy Stars, which are really hard to find. If I do find it, it'll be like $800 and I can't buy that. So next, we got my knee sleeves. These are the seven millim seven millimeter red rib seven millimeter red bands. I've had these for about five years. I still use them basically every time I lift. I do like the extra support on my knees. It just sounds more appealing wearing these to get under 170 kilo clean without wearing nothing at all. If that makes sense, I definitely recommend these. Five years and going strong. Although they just they stink. That's about it. Next up we got our hook grip cloth wrist wraps. I really only use these depending on how my wrist feels. Some days I need it, some days I don't. It really all depends on if like I need the extra support or not. I like cloth more than the the stretchy one with the Velcro. I just feel like it's it's more secure and you could adjust it a lot easier than with the Velcro one. And I don't know, I, either one works, it's just your personal preference. I did lose one of these, so I only have one right now. So I probably will have to order another one, which I just haven't got around to yet. Next up, we got our lifting straps. These are homemade. It's like mountain climbing rope, and I just taped it right here. I'm not too sure where the mountain climbing rope is, but I use them quite a bit too, mainly on like, uh, heavy pulls or snatch volume. Basically anytime my hands have the potential to rip, I use them. Really rarely use these on cleans, very rarely. I will probably only use them on cleans like three times in my entire life. These are really good, they last me a long time. They're really cheap to make another one once they do get broken down and yeah, those are my straps. Next up, something that's really important to me is this heating cream. I kind of put it on anytime I want to have something a little extra warmed up, like say my back, shoulders, knees. If anything's a little bit achy, just rub it on there before you warm up. And by the time you get to the bar and you're ready to lift, it is burning like crazy. The more you warm up and like the more you sweat, I guess, the more it heats up. I'm not too sure what it, why it does that or stuff works really good. Next up we got our tape slash thumb tape. I Currently I have some cheap Walmart tape but it's, it's actually working really good. I've had Lift Genie, I've had Average Bros, I've had all the tapes out there, and the ones that are designed for Olympic weightlifting around your thumbs that are like flexible, I guess, they always end up falling off my thumbs by the time I get to my top set of snatches. For that reason, I'm not too sure. If anyone has any tips on why that happens, let me know because it drives me insane. I just stopped buying Lift Genie and Average Bros. Next up, we got a lacrosse ball. Pretty standard if you're having a knot in your trap or anywhere on your body. You kind of just lay on it or push up against it and it helps get knots out. So I don't use it super often, but it is in here in case I do need it. Next up, we got this physical therapy band. Uh, I really like using this for my warm ups, like warming up my hips or doing sidewalks monster walks. It's just really good for warming up and also keeping the right muscles firing, if that makes sense, because 
Um, this kind of keeps it in check, and I use this just about like every day, warming up and stuff like that. Next, we got our jump rope. This was from Walmart. It was about like ten dollars. Try to jump rope for a few minutes before every time I lift because I think it's a good warm up. It gets your blood flowing. Yeah. And last but not least, which I do use a lot, and I do not have it with me, is my Lico belt. It's at the gym right now, and obviously I'm at home. I don't have access to it, but I do use it a lot. I use it uh, mainly on like heavy squats, heavy clean and jerk. This belt is like treasure to me because the Alico doesn't actually make this belt anymore. They make a newer version, which I'm not too much of a fan of. I like the older design better. I haven't really worn the newer design, so I don't know how it compares actual functionality wise, but I like the older design a lot more. I think it looks cleaner and I think it's just, yeah, I just like it more. It's definitely a treasure to me. Yeah. So that was what was in an Olympic weightlifters gym bag. I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe got some ideas of what you could add to your gym bag or um, I don't know. Or you're up at 2 a.m. binge watching YouTube videos or whatever the situation may be. I hope you guys like the video. That'll be it for today. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Lots of content coming out. Big plans for the summer. Trust me. If you guys are new around here, hit the sub button. This channel is all about just my journey through life and through weightlifting. Thank you guys for all your support. Stay positive, stay healthy, move around. If you don't have equipment, anything is better than nothing. No excuses. And we'll see you guys in the next video.